Ladies and gentle beasts, welcome back to another episode of Valheim. In this episode, we're going to be exploring the sea like I mentioned in the last video. Um, I am uh, running very low on food. I'm actually forced to eat the fish that I've been saving. I, I got this fish. I wonder if there's any more. I found it washed up on the shore over here. Just completely randomly. I think it was after a storm or something. Like uh, maybe storms uh, give you a chance to find fish on the shores. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else. I, I'm out of meats completely. But um, I need to... Oh, you know what? I should probably change my buff. Not that it matters right now, honestly, but I think I should change it just in case. I, I mean, I don't know where I'm going to be running to, uh, not the Black Forest. Which one was this? The Elder. All right, I'm guessing, yeah, this one I haven't labeled yet. I'm guessing this is the the portals or the buffs. So there's a lot I want to do in this episode. Um, I want to build a lot of uh, new things, actually, because I have an abundance of wood now. And because I can swap... I mean, because I can carry all this wood, let's grab this, uh, with the cart, it's going to make it super easy for me to make an awesome base. And I'm, I'm happy with the way that uh, my base looks like already, but there's a lot more that can be done. So that's what I want to do as well. I also want to test out the cart uh, and see if, um, if I can go to the Black Forest with it, if I can haul it all the way over there. Just so that I can bring myself massive quantities of copper and tin. And uh, upgrade the armor. Okay, that didn't work out. Um, <laughs> that didn't work out. Alright, I think the stairs need to be a little bit deeper. Maybe. Uh, yeah. And now I'm wet. Okay. Um, let's try this again. I should be able to jump. Alright, just like that. Very good. So, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's test out the channel again. We're just going straight to the sea, man straight into the sea i want to explore the coastline here because i need to find uh the swamp i believe um or like other biomes holy crap the waves are big are waves a thing like can can the boat oh and we are in the ocean officially can can the waves flip my boat over i don't know if that's a thing I want to get a little bit closer to the coast. Alright, I mean, the winds are not in my favor, but they're not against me, at least. So, this is going to be a little bit of a process. I think I should go straight out. What's going on? I swear, man, this controlling this vessel is very difficult probably should zoom out oh i forgot to test if i can build on the boat i guessing you can't i mean that's kind of common sense that you can't oh <gasps> you know what i can do the boat does have a storage i'm next to the black forest i can grab myself a bunch of tin right now and haul it back to base or copper i think i see something what is this Wait... Oh, whoa! Is that it? There's something in this distance. Is that the swamp? What are these? Are these skeletons? Bro, what? Oh, that's the swamp? Wait, that's the swamp. All right, let's head there. Should I, should I head there? I see giant mountains up ahead too. Whoa! Look off. Let me actually make sure that I don't hit anything. I'm going full speed ahead. Turn a little bit. I just go straight. Uh. Look how far I've gone, <laughs> you guys. It's been a good distance. A really good distance. Uh, maybe I should follow this shoreline now. That is so weird, dude. That reminds me of the Pir of Pirates of the Caribbean. The, sk the or, like, the... The Drowned. 
the zombies walking on the seafloor. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. Oh, that's so creepy. Whoa, what are these things coming after me? What are these... Oh! What is actually in the water? Oh, that looks disgusting, bro. What is that? And why are they chasing my boat? They aggro onto my boat. What is that? I don't think this is a good idea, you guys. What is that? Wind's still in front of me. All right. I mean, I might as well explore the coastline, but I don't want to get in there. I don't want to get in there right now, man. Like, if I had a shield or an upgraded shield, I'll, I probably would try it. But I don't even have an upgraded shield. So my little wooden shield's not really going to be able to do anything here. I don't think. Let's drop the sails. I see long, disgusting things in front of me. Guys, I've been mining for I don't know how long. Uh, but this is how much uh, copper I got. I got 100. Yeah. 100 copper. Um, I think I went through a whole mine, a, a whole copper vein, which is a lot, because that's like that thing is dug under the under the ground. So I'm pretty sure there's still more of it, but I I dug as deep as I could go. Like I literally couldn't go any deeper. And uh, so like, yeah, let's let's see if we can make it back home. That's the biggest question about I'm actually moving backwards. This might be challenging. This might actually be challenging. This might not be as easy as I expected. Um, then again, this physic, uh, this game has really good physics, so it makes sense. Uh, yeah, so maybe the weight has something to do with the fact that you move backwards on sloped areas. Maybe. Uh, I need to go that way. So let's see if we can navigate. Like, areas like this, I'm not sure. I don't... Oh, no. <laughs> no! Wait. Alright, this is going to be challenging. This is going to be more challenging than I expected. I thought that I would be able to just move through rocks and stuff, but... It looks like this is... I mean, it's realistic. It's it's realistic. It's There's no other word to describe it. It's re freaking re realistic. And I like that about this game. It's very realistic. So, I have to traverse through tricky tr tricky terrain. But it's not that bad here, I feel. Um, there's a giant open area up ahead. So, let's actually... Let me actually drop this. Drop it. Drop it. Pick up some mushrooms. Yeah, this thing's actually pushing me. Um, but, I left it out in the rain. Because uh, it was raining outside and it didn't get damaged. So I expected it to get damaged. The fact that it hasn't is really, really good. Oh, I need to go that way. So this is going to be a little bit tricky. But it's definitely doable. And the fact that I can... like, So I could sit there. It's right next to my camp, right? I can literally hop through the portal, go back home, sleep, uh, do everything I need. You know, get my rest meter up. And and then I can just go back, mine. And technically, I can do this until the card is completely full. So that's a lot of freaking copper and, and any kind of other resource you want to gather. And I can almost pr sprint with this. Like, I'm not full sprinting, but I'm not crawling. And with this much weight, first of all, uh, the maximum weight I could carry as I think is like 24 or 25 copper the fact that I have 100 right now and I'm actually running is insane uh, I need to head home which is over there okay so I have to go let's see if, oh I wonder if this is the, if this thing flips over and what happens if it does I mean worst case scenario this breaks I don't think you're gonna be losing the resources uh, let's get some honey 
get some stam. I don't think you're gonna lose the resources, so it's not bad. Like even if it breaks, it's uh, you could potentially get all your resources back, I believe. And if not, then you can just mark the spot where it broke, run back home, and um, get yourself ten more nails. That's all it costs: ten nails and ten wood, I think. It's not bad at all. Uh oh, no stamina. Oh, I can push it backwards. Okay, that's cool. So let's go this way. Can I get through this? I wonder if I can. Oh no, there's a stone. That's okay. That's what stopped me. I was like, the bushes don't stop. Oh, they do. They do. They kind of. Nah, they don't stop you. But this game is legit, dude. The physics are legit. Let's see. I'm. I'm mostly curious about the water right now. Like, what's gonna happen in the water? That's the only issue I have. Or I. I may have. I don't know. We're about to find out. Like, is it going to float? Is it going to sink? Because if it sinks, you can't dive. What's going to happen? Like, what's going on? Dude, there's so many sneaky stones. All right, we're almost home. I mean, okay, so even if I don't make it all the way home, I'm right next door. So instead of having to... Um... Run all the way there to my base, and then from the base, teleport back there, then run all the way back to base. I can just do this. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get over the water somehow. Let's see. Maybe find the shallow part. <gasps> I could build a bridge. I could build a bridge, you guys. If this doesn't go through the water, I could build a bridge. Or I could just go all the way, uh, all the way around. But let's test this. Let's do this. Okay. Really? This thing is absolutely amazing. Can I get uphill? Oh, okay. Without stamina, it would have been a little bit challenging, but... Bro, you guys, this is sick. Can I swing with the... Oh, oh, yeah, I can fight with it while I'm dragging it. That's huge. Okay, uh, maybe move back. Get unstuck. Am I gonna... Am I gonna damage the cart? No, I'm not. All right, cool. We got some necks right here gonna take care of these guys i'm almost out of necktails too so this is perfect hopefully they give me some um all right we got one uh this is this is so good and look at this i'm actually gonna re re rework my base i'm definitely gonna make like uh paths specific paths for the cart um this is absolutely amazing dude i can't believe i can't believe this is so good and it's so cheap to do um wait drop it Hop off. Close the gate behind me. And this is the best part. I, I can... I literally actually walked through the door. And I uh, deposited all the wood that I chopped up from over there. And the trees have already grown. All, almost all of them, I think. But I can park this right outside. Now that the pink pen's not here. I can park this right here. And we got two cards right now, by the way. I can park this right here. And let's go! That's so good! That is so good. We're in the storm. We are in the storm, dude. The waves are actually freaking me out. The boat. Look at look how much the boat is rocking. Like I'm actually thinking that. Oh, that was a big wave. Oh, holy crap, dude. I'm actually thinking that it might be possible to tip over in this game. If that happens, uh, I think that's GG. <laughs> like, I don't think I survived that. All the way out here? No chance. Poor Ragnar can't swim. He can barely swim. He can doggy paddle. That's pretty much it. Oh, dude! These waves are actually massive. Wait, is it... Hey, the storm is passed and we're riding a wave. It's like we're riding a wave, I think. Holy crap, dude. That was actually... That was actually freaky. That was actually freaky. So, uh, the, why am I back on the boat? Why am I back on the boat uh, on the dark forest? Or the black forest? Because I need tin. I got a bunch of copper, but I have no more tin. And without tin, I can't really make bronze. Without bronze, I can't really upgrade. Okay, we're not moving. So, uh, I have to go back to the black forest and mine again. I thought about bringing the cart. And uh, doing it the same way like I did the copper, but... And it's raining again? What is actually going on right now? Why? Why, game? Why? Uh, 
Okay, well, I think I have mined this coast, more or less. This is, this is the coast that I've been mining basically all of my tin, which is not a lot of tin. But all the tin that I got, I got from here. So, I'm not sure what happens with tin. Does it... Does it, um... Regenerate? Like... How? Because there's not enough. Like, you have to walk around the whole map just to get enough tin? Because that doesn't make sense. But, I mean, maybe. Maybe you get tin from uh, other places, too. Um, but yeah, so I have to be here. I'm not really sure where I've gone or how far I went down the coast. I think I went up to there, maybe? Uh, I think I went up to here. I don't want to crash. But, yeah, I should probably turn the boat. Probably turn the boat. It's a bunch of rocks here. Is that tin or is that... That's just the stone. Alright, so I'm just going to be doing this right now. We went all the way around, dude. So from here, I sailed all across like this. Around the shoreline. I got all the way to this side. This side, by the way, had a bunch of freaking tin veins. So I'm guessing that... And also, there was like a little... Uh, the map's probably not going to show it. There was a little cut in the Black Forest. Um, not really a river. But it was just full of water. A little bit and there was a bunch of tin there as well so i'm guessing uh tin does not replenish which sucks so i'm not gonna be able to find any more tin around here and i'm gonna have to start all the way around there somehow <laughs> i don't know how but i have to get all the way across on the other side or i can go right here on this side which seems a lot closer actually so this is probably gonna be the better idea when i need some more tin but for now i have a big massive amount of tin an ungodly amount of tin more tin than any human being could possibly need if it wasn't valheim but it's valheim so i'm probably not gonna be this is this this is how much i got you can carry 30 at a time i got 30 in here and 30 in here so oh 27 so i'm missing actually three but whatever uh this is as good as it's gonna get for now i'm just sick of freaking mining tin i have more tin than copper at this point actually so if i why am i not moving um, oh, the winds. The winds on my side, more or less. Um, if I can't upgrade everything with all of this mining, then yeah, I'm just going to go with whatever I got. This is ominous. This is actually ghostly looking ominous. I hate this. I can't see a thing. Uh, I should probably turn. I can't see anything. Foggy blackness in the middle of the night. So I've spent three days i think mining whoa that's a beautiful looking wave man i wish <sighs> i miss galveston i miss it i miss it there's no surf in bulgaria well not that i know of at least not really popular so uh i'm gonna be heading back smelting all of this freaking tin and copper making some um bronze was it bronze i can't even think anymore and then uh, I'm going to get the armor, finally. The huge upgrade. Also, the shield. That's the most important thing because shield is arguably better than armor as long as you have enough stamina to block. We are finally home. Holy crap, dude. That was some... That's, that was next level grinding right here. I want to call it an adventure, but that was just straight up grinding, man. That was straight up grinding hard. All right, so... We got a bunch of copper now. Uh, there's still more here. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Finally. All right. I've been meaning to um, to just get down and freaking dirty with this. Just mine. Just hard mine. Because I really need all this. And there's no way around it. There's, there, there's no way around it. Unless there's something to be unlocked later on. Wait. Why is this not cooking? Uh, let's drop this in here. Unless there's something else that that has to be unlocked, like, later on, like a machine that does it for you or something, that somehow deep mines, I don't know, copper and whatever kind of metals you're going to need in this game. I think this is just part of the game, and sometimes you're just going to have to spend days at a time just doing this. And, uh, I mean, it may be a little bit too much, but I can't criticize them. Um, I love the game, like I said, multiple times. So, 
nothing in this world is perfect is it so i'm gonna be doing this um i think what would help a lot is if i make more of these more smelters and um and more kilns definitely would help a lot but um that would mean a lot more cores and i think i, I mean i have some but i think i should save them um i, th I think i should save them for can I get all this? I'm too heavy. Uh, what about half of that? What about, what, what about half of that? All right. Um, let's actually get... Well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be coming back here anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to save the cores for the teleports because I think the teleports are way more important. So, let's do this. Man, it's been a while. All right. We're going to gear up so good. Um, I need wood. I have a bunch of wood um let's get let's get 25 all right oh lagarino let's go with the shield all right nice uh block power 45 this is block power 30 so big difference actually um what else the i need five five more pieces so let's grab oh wait that's this chest Let's actually get everything. I can carry it, right? Yes, I can. Very good. So, let's get that. Let's get... I believe I need... These and... Oh, come on. Um, Half of that? Alright, let's go with these. I think I need these for something. No, I just need them for the sword. What about this? Alright, they all require this leather. Alright. Let's grab this leather then. Uh, oh man, I, I'm I'm actually I don't know if I'm I, I don't know if I'm excited about the swamp. I I, I don't know. I don't want to die, dude. Oh, come on. Um, I don't think I need the, this wood anymore. Let's drop it here. I don't know if I'm excited about the swamp, man. If uh, I'm gonna build a teleport first of all, but still. It's a scary place. Like, those mobs looked scary. <laughs> like, j they just looked mean. All right. And then the leggings and the helmet. Yes. Oh, let's go. A full freaking armor set, dude. All right. So, my armor is at 26 right now. Let's see. Let's put everything on. Uh, the leggings, too. Did I just get scammed? 8 armor. 8 armor. 8 armor. Did I just... Did, did, did the game just scam me? I feel like I just got scammed, you guys. Why didn't I just read on the armor before I did this? What, why, did I, why did I do that? Wait, are these upgraded? What's going on right now? Is my troll armor upgraded? Uh, okay, it is. It's upgraded to level 2. But, like... Okay, uh, maybe I can... <laughs> oh, I wanted to see... <sighs> is that for real? Armor is down here, so... Let's let's just drop the troll armor, man. This is a big upgrade. I mean... Oh, no, nope, not, uh, not the cape. Definitely throw on the cape. Um... I think the shield's gonna go with the armor. All right, this shield's first of all, this shield's gonna be massive, so I'm just mostly excited about that. I look beastly too. Yeah, that that looks spicy. Okay, let's see how much are the upgrades gonna cost me. Three bronze, three bronze, three bronze. So that's not too bad. Um, what about the shield? Five bronze. I need fourteen freaking bronze. Do I have it? I have one. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? I'm gonna be able to do it. I just have to smelt a lot more. That's it. Guys, we're headed to the swamp. We're doing this. I got all the materials to make myself a portal. I just have to chop some trees. I hope that uh, those trees give you wood. Regular wood. Because they look dead. 
So I hope they will give you some special kind of different wood that I can't use to build a a shack. You know, like a small little a small little shack. Because that would be a big problem because I'm not carrying any wood. I'm just carrying the necessary materials for a portal. As for the upgrades, uh, I decided to max out my upgrades on the sword because I'm that's my main weapon right now. Or that's the main weapon that I'm going to be using. Uh, the bow is already maxed out. I got level 2 on the shield. Uh, let's see. I got level 2. Yeah, I got level 2s on all the armor. And then level 3 is just too freaking much, dude. I'm, over, I'm completely out of bronze. I'm completely out of bronze. I think I have like 4 pieces, which is enough to upgrade my axe, but that's it. And I didn't want to waste it on an axe because I'm already... I have a buffer chopping wood. I don't really care about that too much. Uh, let's actually turn a little bit. Yeah, so I'm saving the little bit of bronze that I have left out of all that freaking copper. I'm and the wind is on right in front of me. Out of out of all that bronze, I have zero left, zero bronze. I have a lot of tin though, like a lot of tin. I think I have like 60, 60 more tin, if not even more, maybe ninety. Uh, a bunch of freaking tin left. Wait, what's going on? So, yeah, um. <laughs> I have to go mining for copper if I want to upgrade farther, but I feel like this is good. 32 armor. Uh, my sword is doing massive amounts of damage. The third, the third attack, the one that you do with the with the middle mouse button, with the mouse wheel when you click it, where you stab forward. I did 300 damage to a pig. Now, I'm guessing mobs and things like that have armor themselves, so like the damage would be um, reduced. Maybe I don't know. I'm not sure. But 300 freaking damage with that attack. It's a powerful freaking attack, man. All right, we're here. <clears throat> we're at the swamp. Uh, what is that green thing up there? Is that a log? I, I don't know where I need to go. That tree right up, up at the front looks different. That one does too. They have green things. Oh... Are those the things that, like, were jumping at me? Are those the things? Okay. I need to figure out a good spot for a tiny little base. Because this is freaking. This is free. This is freaky. This is actually freaky. Uh, everything is submerged. So where can I even drop a base? Uh, okay. I wonder what this fire stuff is, too. Man, there's so much to explore in this in this game that's so crazy uh and i don't see any mobs for some reason there were a bunch of mobs but oh oh wait wait what is that dude what is that uh Oh, is that a dungeon? Holy crap, dude. Did I already find a dungeon? What are these things? Do they shoot fire? I'm really not looking forward to that. I kind of want to stay away from them. Fire is bad. Fire is really bad. And... Dude, literally everything is submerged. Like, where do you actually build here? There's a spawner. Like, do, I s do I just go take out the stuff that's at the spawner and just build there? Between those rocks? Like, how do I even... What is this? What is this? Dude, why is everything submerged? Like, how do you actually build here? Like, how... <laughs> Not just build, but like, how do you explore things without a boat? Know what I'm saying? Like... Huh? Can I even build a base here? I'm gonna try to get to where those trees are and maybe chop them down. Oh, that looks freaking ominous. Oh, those blobs, the jumping blobs. Uh, none of this looks good. Oh, I got some mobs in the water. Wait, is this like... Is this shallow water to where I can walk in it? 
There's some mobs over there too. Great. Great. Yes. Uh, I mean, hey, you gotta do this. I. What was that? What was that, dude? What was that in the water? Why am I moving so slow? Is it because it's shallow water? Turn. I guess it is because it's shallow water. So I guess my boat can float even in like chest deep water. Maybe just paddle. I think that might be faster. Okay. So yeah, in like shallow water, it looks like paddling is the way to go. Okay. This is getting bad already. This is getting bad real fast. I hope that it can't break my boat. I think, uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna get up to the land right here and just start fighting stuff. Oh, man. Oh, man. Not looking forward to this, mean. I'm not gonna lie. It's freaky. Because I know these mobs hit hard. I know they hit hard. Uh, like, I did a little bit of research. Let's go. Let's do it. Leeches. Oh! Bunch of disgusting stuff. Let's see if I can just block its attacks. Oh, I can't. Oh, and I'm poisoned? I got new recipes. Cool, but holy crap, dude. There's so much damage. And, yeah, I couldn't block enough with the shield. No, it's no. Don't hit my boat. You... Don't hit my boat. That's a that's a level two. Is that really? Is that necessary right now? Is that really necessary? Level two. Look at my HP. I'm about to die, guys. Guys, I'm about to die. Like I don't I don't really know what to do here. I knew I shouldn't have gone to the freaking swamp. Not ready. Oh no! Take out the shield. Alright, I'm, I'm... No! I'm about to die, you guys. Like, there's no... There, it, this is so bad. This is so bad! I'm dead. Holy shit, the swamp sucks so bad! The swamp sucks so bad. It's breaking my boat! <clears throat> Dude, this is like... How do you even deal with that? Like, you're submerged in water? How do you fight in water? That's so bad. I lost my boat. I lost everything. I lost all my gear. I can't believe that happened, dude. I can't believe that happened, dude. What do I even do right now? Like I don't I don't know what to do right now. That was that was actually I just don't even know what to say. I'm just... I can't believe that happened. Like, there was, like, how do you even deal with that? Like, what? How do you deal with that shit? That's crazy. That was too much. That was too much. Uh, 80 nails. Uh, I'm out of bronze. I can't build a boat. I can't get to my body. Uh, all right, so that happened, um, I don't even know what to do here, I, I, I'm, I, I'm legit stuck, uh, okay, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode, really freaking unfortunate, uh, I regret everything about this, I regret 100% going to the swamp right now, uh, but even with better gear, I don't know how, how I was supposed to do that. I, I just don't understand how I was supposed to do that. Everything is submerged. Like, I should have maybe sat on the land, but then that thing was breaking my boat. I don't know. I don't know how I do this.
Uh, mobs everywhere. That place sucks, dude. That place actually sucks so bad. All right. Yeah, um, I'm going to contemplate on how I'm actually going to get my stuff back. If I'm going to be able to get my stuff back. And um, I'll see you guys in the next episode.